We talked about the crossover between film and television. In a while, we'll talk about Mank, which is a Netflix movie, although it is playing in some cinemas. Obviously, the the big crossover at the moment is the Small Axe series because uh, Mangrove opened the London Film Festival, um, then uh, followed by Lovers Rock, and now this Sunday, Red, White and Blue. And they are essentially self-contained films, feature films that are... You know, theoretically, on one level, they are part. Of, they are they are a TV series in the paper that I write for. They're being covered in the TV column, but particularly with everything that's going on at the moment, they are they they are feature films. So, Red, White, and Blue. Um, as I said, it's on BBC One on Sunday, and it's true story. Um, about uh, Leroy Logan, played by John Boyega, rather brilliantly played uh, by uh, John Boyega. Uh, the screenplay is by um, uh, Coach Newland and uh, and Steve McQueen. So uh, our central character is the son of a Jamaican immigrant who is very, very kind of cagey about the police. Teaches his son from very, very early age. He said, "Don't bring them, you know, back to my house." However, Leroy, who's hassled as a kid, there's a very early scene in which we see him, you know, standing outside his school and being hassled and being searched, wants to change things from within. He has an ambition to become a policeman. There's actually a, a very funny joke, which I have to say, it's, it's an indication of how good the film is that they get away with this. But he says he's thinking of joining the force and somebody says, what, like a Jedi? And the fact that it's John Boyega in that scene and they managed to make that joke and it doesn't throw you out of the thing enough that you just sort of suppose it, it, it is really good. So he it decides that he wants to enroll. He wants to sign up. He wants to become part of the police force, which is absolutely riddled with uh, inequality and racism. Here's a clip. I don't suppose you get many people from my background. Science. Thought I'd be the first. Mr. Logan, have you or any of your family come in direct contact with the police? What do you mean? Have you or any of your relatives been arrested and detained, whether charged or released with no further action? No, never. If I may, I just wanted to say I applied to combat negative attitudes. There are divisions and misunderstandings, and I think I could change that. If I'm allowed, of course. You're right. Attempts to interact with your people have fallen quite short. Recruits from your background might be better placed, perhaps, to show where we're going wrong. I think you can hear even from that interaction, there's this kind of the, the, the undercurrent of what's happening. Now, you know, so what he's going to do is he's going to go from you know, research science, essentially, into a profession which, you know, some people think oh, that's a great thing to do. But this immediately kind of sets up this conflict with his father, because while he is trying to make his way as a police officer, which is something he's very proud of, his father has been beaten up by the police and is involved on an on in an ongoing case in which his father wants to have his day in court, in which he wants justice to be done and justice to be seen to be done. So it's basically about somebody having their lives pulled in different directions by their life, their ambitions, their family, their heritage, their allegiances, their identity, which really is kind of, you know, what I suppose all of these uh, films are about. Um, John Boyega was great in uh, in Detroit um, when he was he played uh, Melvin Dismukes, who's this, this security guard who ends up getting caught between his race and his uniform as he's attempting to mediate between this brutal police and these tortured suspects in this again a, a true life story and i don't think detroit never got um the praise or the attention it really deserved in this i think what boyega manages to do is to brilliantly kind of embody both the the determination of his character and also the anxiety of the position that his character has put himself in and what uh what steve mcqueen and uh, koshinudin have managed to do is to create a world which is completely convincing which has enough things in it that you absolutely recognize as yep i remember that world i remember that environment that all rings true but also to show you a story from a point of view that probably hasn't been seen that often in mainstream television or, or mainstream movies and it is remarkable that this is happening now, as I said, as you know, part of a series of films for TV that are feature films to all intents and purposes, and are as powerful and as effective as uh, as any feature. And I may, I mentioned before when I was, I was talking about John Boyega, and I mean obviously the Star Wars stuff made him a star, but what this does is it demonstrates just how versatile 
an actor he is in the framework of a drama which is really well written very very well directed and completely accessible and gripping you just sit down and bang you're immediately you're in there i thought it was really good 